last day at home before holiday. I feel like we're already on holiday, but we're actually not. I do have some very good news though. Look, the lateral flow is negative, yippee. I had been angsting about that. You see, we're not legally required to test before going on holiday, but because I'm in a band and we're gonna test before our gigs. I needed to do a test today because I've got a gig tonight. But thank goodness it was negative because if it was positive, I couldn't have knowingly gone on an aeroplane. Anyway, I'm not, so. That's one big relief. My boyfriend is here. He's sitting at the table in there doing some work. I'm in the process of sorting out the dishwasher. And I realized if I didn't put a wash load on, I'd come home and have no clean clothes to wear. It was only after I started packing the other night that I realized I don't really have seven days worth of clothes when well, I sort of did I managed to scrape it together but it was difficult it included some things that you know were from the emergency clothing section shall we say ragged and ready for the bin I normally do a wash every few days and even when I go on holiday I normally pack three or four outfits worth and then just keep washing regularly but we're only going for five days so it doesn't seem any point in doing that uh, anyway I am gonna clean up in here and I'm gonna get myself dressed and have a bath and hair wash. I've realised I've just said seven days worth of clothes. I'm gonna be away for a further two days because I'm doing gigs so I will still be staying somewhere else for the two days after I get back as well. And I'm staying at IB's tonight but I've got clothes at his so I don't need to pack for that but Izzy does. It's all a bit complicated. <laughs> okay it's almost leaveable however the day is young and i'm not leaving till 4 p.m so there's plenty of chance for it to get messed up again and need more washing up because we've got a couple more things to eat before we go i am going to go and have that bath and hair wash now and then i'm going to get on with packing i've had my bath and hair wash i'm dressed kind of ib has made me a pancake i'm gonna put some of this on it that ib skills the pancake was delicious. This is total use it up jollop. There's an apple chopped up underneath, the rest of the natural yogurt and trifle dolloped on top and IB's in the other room in ecstasy, I would say, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. That's that job ticked off the list. I'm gonna count out some of these uh, things. Take that from me, you know, waterworks. <laughs> That's for hair. That's uh, waterworks as well. So I'm just going to put some in a little bag, just count them out. So I've got them to take every day. And then I don't need these big bulky things in the case then. I'll probably only take a fraction of these big ones, but if I get a flare up, I'll take more, you know, they're sort of as required. Yeah. We're chucking some lateral flows in there as well, just in case one of us starts getting symptoms abroad. It might be complicated to get some, you know, out there. I don't know. It's coming together. Look, this is my case so far pop that there on the masks. I bought a few too many Easter treats so I had these little teeny tiny Kit Kat bunnies going spare so I thought I'd take them to the gig tonight and we can all have one each. I need to sort my hair out. I was just um, about to do it when I'd be called that the pancakes were ready so I'm going to do that next. But soon at 12.10 we're going to attempt to check in using the Ryanair app. I'll be so glad when that's done. I don't know why it's just a big, seems like a big hurdle to get over it's probably going to be fine I'm glad IB's here because I don't know if it's my slightly old tech or what but apps just they quite often just don't do what they're supposed to for me I don't know why I feel a bit inept with them but anyway I'm glad he's here if neither of us can get it to work we can go to the travel agent because it's very close so that's fine what else am I going to tell you yeah, I got to do Izzy's jab as well, so I took that out of the fridge this morning. So that's at room temperature now, ready for whenever she wants that. Means I won't have to take a Cyto Sharp spin on holiday. I don't want to do that. Rather than do it now. And she can have it a day early, I checked. And when I've done this, I can pack my hairbrush. See? <laughs> so many things have to go in last minute, don't they? Might help if I remove the clip. This is where people do this on camera, and then they're using the monitor as a mirror. I've seen people doing their makeup like it. <laughs> In goes the hairbrush. I'm doing my list in a really funny way. I'm basically writing on what I've put in and then I'm going to see what's missing. <laughs> right, hairbrush. I never do it like this, honestly. It's just the last couple of days ended up being more chaotic than I was expecting. Oh, and I got some clips. Oh, bless you. Oh, cool. he's got a big sneeze on him, isn't he? Um, I managed to get some of these hair clips that are actually covered over on this bit. You know the bit? Oh, no, it's that bit there. It catches, doesn't it? And, um, like this one here. When this bit here is exposed, I find it rips my hair out. So I'm not happy with that. They were two pound for four in Tesco's. Somebody did ask me what moisturiser I use in the comments. Is that one? I'll just put this on and then I can pack this then, can't I? Yay. Oh, I haven't done the putting shampoo and things into little bottles. I need to do that. 
I've got my little things here. C for conditioner. Oh, there's some in actually. S for shampoo. I've refilled those. I actually tipped out what was there because I'm allergic to the other stuff and it brings me out in red blotches. So oh, I feel like I should put them in a little bag, you know. Oh, they'll be all right. I'm just a bit wet because I've just rinsed them off. I randomly thought I'd include some tweezers. I don't have a bathroom bag or anything. Ibe's like, you haven't got a toiletries bag. I said, no, I want to take up extra space. I've just got everything in there. Izzy's going to pack the toothpaste because she's going to be in a different room. So I'm going to nick Ibe's all week, which I've asked him about already. So I'm just getting my teeth cleaned now because it's done then and she can just clean her teeth and then pack the toothpaste. I've just noticed it's gone 10 past 12, so when it's quarter past, we can check in now on the Ryanair app. I'll be so glad when this bit's over. <laughs> it is nearly an hour later. I'm still trying to work the Ryanair app on my phone. I had to go out and find IB. He was fixing something in his car outside in the street, so even he's had a go as well. Got them all in the Apple wallet. It says you've got to print them out. Is there an option to print it out? No. Can I find a way to print it out from the Apple wallet? No, I can find a way to email it to myself, but then when you open it up, it just only has the option to add it to your Apple wallet and not print it. So I'm gonna try logging in from my laptop now. Oh my goodness, it's full of things where you're obliged to end up paying for more things. There's so many things to read through. It says basically, do you want to pay an extra six pounds to ensure that you're all sitting together? Otherwise your seats will be allocated randomly. And I was like, oh, I don't matter. So clicked the free option, allocated randomly. Later on it says, right, this is where you're all sitting. It shows you on a little map. Would you like to change your seats? And I be meanwhile, I said, no, I'd rather sit together. So he was happy to pay for that. Then it's like the cinema, you know, you get different colored seats with different prices on. They started at 13 pounds by that point. Originally it would have been six pounds to pay for us all to sit together. Now it's 13 or 14 pounds to choose a different seat per person. Uh, so just chose a different one. It's like, yeah, all right then. So why didn't it just put us all together in the first place? That was naughty. This is my theory. I think they automatically put us not sitting together to then make us pay. Because in the past, I've always taken the pun that now we'll check in and as long as we all check in together, we'll be sitting together and it's always worked before. And this time. Anyway, I'm gonna try on my laptop because I've got to get them printed out. The time's ticking. I've got to get ready for my gig. I haven't finished packing. One injection successfully administered. I'm gonna go back to trying to print these blimmin' things out. I'm basically saving them as screenshots and printing them, that's how I'm doing it. There's just no option on the Ryanair app that I can find that you hit to print your things out. It says you must print them out, but it doesn't actually have a facility to do it. You have to use your ingenuity to do it. Uh, IB is now checked as incoming back as well. So that's done. So next thing I'm gonna do is try and print those boarding passes out now, because it'll be a bit of a hassle out there without access to a printer easily. Work, work. It wouldn't work for ages, printing the boarding passes from my laptop. Oh, I tried again and then it eventually worked and then it stopped and then I started doing it from my phone quite successfully and now it won't work. I've changed the ink. I know what'll happen, it'll all come out at once. Right, just... I'm having a John Cleese moment. You're right, they will all come out at once. Well, I've got loads set to come out. Why won't it just do it? Damn it! <clears throat> oh, I'm going to hit you with a branch. I've been at this since about quarter past twelve and it's 1.40 now, I need to pack. I've got That's a gig to get ready for. Ah, oh, this is just driving me mad. I should have gone to the travel agent, but I thought there might be a queue. I'll get back to you. I do feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for myself. He's fixing a problem with his car as well. So it's all, it's all go here, isn't it? His alarm keeps going off. What am, am I allowed to say about your alarm? Yeah. His alarm keeps going off. He doesn't want to leave it in airport parking with the alarm going off constantly. So he's trying to work out how to fix that by going online and looking up videos and things. It's not helping. Okay. He's been at it for two hours as well. He started with this issue as I started with the trying to check in and print the boarding passes issue. It's just... We're both of us not getting very far there. Right, well I'm nearly done. I've printed out the ones going there, I just haven't printed out the ones coming back. It's just, everything's just stopped working. I'm on to tech now. <laughs> 
sorting all my batteries out. I carry spare batteries all the time in my bag because I've got some for my mouse. I need two in case my mouse goes and I'm trying to edit on the go. I've got some for my Canon camera, which I'm filming on now. A couple for my GoPro because it eats batteries. That's a spare one for the Sony Handycam, which is what I use for my zoomy shots, which is in there as well. So this is going to be fun. We think we've got to make sure they're packed so that these can't touch each other, but we're not quite sure. We were trying to work it out from reading online earlier. So I'm going to try and package them sort of roll them up in a roll so that they're not touching each other and they can't make a circuit or something like that, I'm not sure. Somebody will tell me in the comments, I dare say. So of course all these cameras come with chargers. There's the Canon charger, there's the Sony charger and there's the GoPro charger, earplugs of course. And I am thinking I should be putting these things in a plastic bag just in case they explode and splut all moisture on my tech. And there's a little gimbal. Look, he's all nestled in. I thought I'll put it right in the middle. So hopefully that survives. I finally found my other adapter. I thought I only had one, as he has one already. My little trick with these is to put an extra couple on. Yeah, so this is a UK, just three way. So that kind of makes it go a bit further. Obviously don't overload it. Depends what you're using, doesn't it? And this thing I've had for years, it's just a little USB one. It's time to turn the laptop off now. You know, you're mean in business when that happens. All the Chargers are going to come unplugged and go in the case as well. That's my power bank, so I've been topping that up today. Yeah, that's fully charged now. Oh, and it is worthy of note, in my opinion, that I remembered that tiny little bit off the gimbal. This bit here that attaches to the camera, it comes off and stays on the camera and then it slides on and off easily. You can't use it without it. I forgot it last time I went out vlogging with it. Batteries, they've all got a bit of bubble wrap between them. That's gone more compact than I was thinking. Um, I don't think that needed to be individually wrapped, but I've done it anyway. So they can go in my hand luggage. We're only allowed one piece of hand luggage. So I'm very much hoping I'm gonna be able to squeeze my camera bag in there for the flight, for getting on and off, you know. Otherwise we're gonna get charged 69.99 according to the app today if we try and sneak on with two it was trying to encourage me to pay in advance for it assorted tablets going in and some extra paracetamol i've got a feeling these are much more expensive in spain than here they're about 16 pence a packet here there's a handy little zippy compartment here in the main body of my rucksack so i'm going to put my important stuff in there so what have i got i got my i got some spare boarding passes those are not going to go in there they're going to go somewhere else covid passes I go in there i think and in here i have got hotel voucher the transfer voucher and our boarding passes and all the details of the holiday in there so I just put my euros change in a little bag and I'm gonna hopefully fit that in my wallet alongside the sterling so it just keeps it separate and then swap when we get there and just keep the sterling in the hotel room until we're going back I think I might be done and it's an hour and ten minutes before I need to leave for my gig so that allows me some food and washing up time it's gonna be moment of truth time it's got to be under 20 kilos Ooh, nearly forgot my eye mask might be bright in the mornings. That would never do. I can't sleep through brightness. All right, it's time to do it up and I'm gonna hold the thing up and ask IB to read the dial because I just can't do it. <laughs> Band treats going in little reusable Ziploc bag. I've just been thinking about something which is that years ago when we used to go to an airport, the first thing we'd do is grab a trolley to put all our cases on. But of course, everybody's got wheels on their cases now. Can you imagine going back to having wheel-free suitcases? What an encumbrance. I can remember walking the mile into town to the bus station with a very heavy suitcase and what an effort it was. I think I was in my late teens and... <sighs> Pour in with sweat by the end, so glad for the wheels. We just had a funny panic with this, so I held it up from quite a way away. IB is sitting at the desk there working, and I was sort of over here, and I held it up, and he was squinting over it, and he said, mm, 22 point something, and we were like, oh no, I thought it was really light. And it turns out, because he couldn't read the scale properly, he was reading the outside ones, so it's fine, it's actually on 10 kilos, so I've actually got half, which is very good news because it means I can bring things back. 50 minutes before I have to go and I'm having a pre-gig meal, it's leftovers. So of course I've got more washing up to do again now, haven't I? It just keeps coming back again. My cabin bag, which is my black rucksack, only just fits the dimensions if I squash it in a bit. It's a bit bigger at the moment, but it's squash-inable. It's not like got a rigid outer shell or anything, so. <laughs> but there's things in it at the moment that I need for the gig that I don't need to take with me in the plane so I think it'll be okay 
Worst thing that will happen is they'll charge me for an extra bag and it'll be £69, which will be very annoying, or they say it's got to go in the hold. Got to go in 20 minutes now. Definitely need a cup of tea after all that running around. I have cleaned and washed everything up again for the second time today. Wiped all the surfaces down, put the compost out and given that a good old swill out. Put the food waste out in the wheelie bin outside. And I tell you what, I've done as much prep for this five day holiday than I would have done for a holiday of just about any duration. Honestly, is it really worth it? <laughs> five days oh anyway it's time for me to drink my tea have a wee before going in the car so our gig and shut all the windows that sort of thing ib and izzy are leaving at the same time as me they're going to his place i'll probably see you on the way to the gig everything's packed and we're off to upcoat we've just entered worcestershire going up somewhere called Bird Lip Hill now, which I think is a funny name because birds don't have lips, do they? Now we're heading into the Cotswolds. We've come to a very picturesque traffic jam. Oh no, we're moving now. <laughs> we're here. This is the driveway. Pheasant. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Look, <laughs> you're disappearing. Oh. Oh yeah, I do recognise this place. We've been here before haven't we Mick? Yeah. The reason they say we access cars, I think we're going down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember this one. What a lovely place. We've parked up. I'm starving so I'm eating mini cheddars. <laughs> They're really overrunning and uh, we've got a little bit of a wait but that's okay. It's beautiful weather, lovely and warm. So nice <laughs> Look! We're waiting. There's a peacock in the car park. He's disappearing. Bye bye. He's come back out the other side. Look. Oh, he's so cute. There's a place just on the edge of Penderen that's got the load of peacocks. Just checking out the other wildlife. No, not Mr. Sheep. We're in, we got in a bit late, we're going to be starting soon, so we're setting up at the moment. <laughs> and we're on our way back now to IB's place. Well, I've just got back to my boyfriend's house, it's about 20 to 12 in the evening, we're going to just have a drink and go to bed, so tomorrow it'll be the big off, we're going to leave I think around 8 o'clock in the morning to get to the airport, so I shall see you then, thank you so much for watching, please give it a like if you liked it, subscribe for more of my story, and I'll see you next one, bye!